Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Git or GitHub or Git Bash on Windows 10 or 11 here. So if you're using Windows 11 or 10, the process is the same here. So first of all, you just need to go any browser that you have and search for Git here. And this will show you the website here, gitstm.com, which is the official site of Git here. So just click on it. And here you will find the download for Windows, which is the latest version of it. So just click on download for Windows here. And here you have to download the standalone installer, which is have 32 bit and 64 bit. So I'm going to install the 64 bit. So if you don't know what is your computer version is, just go to this PC option here. Then right click on it, click on properties. After opening the properties, you will you will see option here system type which is called 64 bit in my case so if you have 64 bit download the 64 bit option so i'm just going to back to the system here settings here and download the 64 bit here as you can see it's downloading here which is only 51 mb here after completing the download option you just have to go to the folder and find the github or git exe file here Right click on it, then run as administrator. As you can see, this is the setup information here. So you just have to click next here. Then you have to choose where you're gonna git is going to install. So you can browse or change the, but for example, I'm gonna choose the C program here. So just click next here. And also as you can see, it will only take 292 MB. Just click next. Then let the settings default here, click next. Also, it will create a git folder here. And if you want to create a start menu folder, you can check it. So I'll just uncheck it, click next. Then if you want to choose an editor here, you can choose from here. But I'll just keep the default here. So just click next. And also just choose the default version here. Just click next. And this is the recommended version. So you don't have to choose any other thing. So just click next here. And also, and also use the bundle open SSH. So just click next here. Use the OpenSSL library, yes, click next. And also keep the settings here, default here, so just click next here. Also keep next. And also default fast forward or merge, you so just click next here. So let the all setting just be default here, so just click again next. Enable file system caching, yes, click next. And if you want to choose this, enable experimental support for sudo consoles and so also enable experimental built-in file system monitor. You can check any of them. So I'm just I'm not gonna check any of them. So just you have to do is install and it will start to install here. So as you can see, GitHub or Git is already installed in my computer here. So you just have to click finish here, or you can view release notes here. So I'm just gonna uncheck it and just click finish here. And if I right click my hair as you can see and as you can see git is installed here git bash here so if you want to check if it's working or not just go to search bar search for command prompt open the command prompt here and just enter git here and press enter and you'll find this option here so as you can see git is working here and it's installed on your pc windows 10 or windows 11 here so that's it guys, this is how you download and install Git in your PC. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching.